Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at CMYK. It's not the same as CMY, but it's nearly as we'll see. You may first encounter it when buying a printer, where you're printing in colour you get cyan, magenta, yellow and also black. The reason for this is you shouldn't really need the black, but when you put together cyan, magenta and yellow, you don't get a very good black. It's sort of a dark colour. So it does a fudge, they kind of give you black as well. But then because you've got this balancing thing going on here, you can also get it as a kind of colour space on the, uh, the computer. Your computer screen and the way the files are held is still red, green and blue, but this lets you sort of like emulate it. So let's turn that one off and we'll have a look here. Here's a picture which we're going to pull apart. You can put it first in, if you like, into red, green and blue. So taking out the red, green and blue channels. And if we take that and do a control I, we invert it. And that gives us cyan, magenta and yellow. I'm going to leave those up there because that's going to show us how it's different when you take apart the CMYK. What I'm going to do for the CMYK is um, I've already separated out copies of this picture around here which are going to be the cyan, magenta, yellow and black. And against each one of those, I've already attached a channel mixer, which I can get from down here. That's the, the channel mixer. Put that on each of those layers. So let's go to the first one. And what we want to do with this, so this is the cyan over here, is we want to um, have this. We've already selected CMYK from here. It normally starts with RGB. Um, we want to keep cyan in here, but get rid of magenta, yellow and black. So I switch from here and go down to magenta. And I just turn the magenta down there. So everything's zero under magenta. And you see we're already losing magenta from there. We then go to yellow and take the yellow out. So now there's even less yet there. We also need to go to black. And we take the black out because that's going to go into a separate channel. And look what's happened here. It's faded right out because this is the only um, cyan in here when you've got black. It's much less than in this picture one up here because this includes effectively the black information that is separated out down here. So it's a different way of representing it. It's exactly the same picture, just holding it differently. So let's go to the next one. And for this one, we want the magenta. So the cyan, we're going to put this, just take out the cyan first. We're going to leave the magenta, don't need to change that. Yellow, take out the yellow. And black, take out the black. And now here's the magenta. So again, it's taken out a lot here. You'll notice the sky, there's quite a lot of magenta in the sky. There's none, not so much here because that's held in the black channel. So... Let's go to the next one and click on this one here. So there we go. This is for the yellow channel and cyan. We don't want cyan. Magenta. We don't want magenta. Yellow. We're going to leave because we want to keep that and go to black and take out the black. So there we've got the yellow. So notice here we go CMY at the top but a different CMY underneath because there's going to be black in here as well. So let's go to the black channel. And for the cyan channel, we're going to take out that. For magenta, we're going to take out the magenta to zero. The yellow channel, we're going to take out yellow and that leaves black. So here we can see it's a quite a, you know, it's a monochrome image and that's actually a, a way of creating monochrome. Bit There are shorter ways, but this is one way that you can do it. So now we've got these colours and we'd like to blend them together now. So the question is for here, what blend mode do we need? And if I select the Sire one there and I go down to CMY, because I don't need to, to put a blend mode on the bottom or it'll try to blend more onto what's ever underneath it. And we put in multiply. So the blend mode here is multiply that you need. So let's use the move tool here and we'll drag them all up. 
one at a time. Uh, let's pick that one. There we go. I'll slide that one over onto there. We'll take the yellow one and we'll slide that onto here. And notice here how we've now got the picture. Let's get it registered on. I've got the magnet up here set so it locks on nicely. So this is just the colours. If you turn down the blacks, that's what you get. But when you add the blacks, wait for it. Bing, there you go. It's the same picture as this one down here. So you can separate them out, but also interestingly separating them out, you can do different things and have interesting effects. You can, for example, add a blur to magenta and have sort of a, that colour come out in an interesting way. So let's quickly then go to the original picture and show the sort of thing you can do with CMYK very quickly. And I'm going to go to curves. And a very, very useful thing you can do with this, you go to CMYK and go to the blacks. Notice now if I turn up the black with normal curves, you go upwards, it goes lighter, but with blacks, it adds black and going down it goes lighter but what you're doing here you're you are changing the color of this but you sorry that you're changing the tonality not the color that's the point is the colors are not changing so it's just the blacks in here the colors have been taken out of the cmy which you can adjust separately as well but as soon as you see it it does it very nicely it doesn't make a you know change things in the way that if you just did the rgb curve anyway there we go that's enough for now and thank you very much for watching.